you have to be willing to meet the feeling of self-hatred. Even closer yet, you have to be willing to feel and be with and let pass the feeling of hatred itself. And this is as close as it gets to dissolving the resistance against life, against flow, against surrender. That is you truly allowing yourself to be present with this energy. You're going to get a black cloud over your head when you're passing through it. And you know what? That's okay. Because the worst thing you can do is try to escape it. Because your state of being is your responsibility. Your darkness is yours to be with. So if you are escaping it, there is no way that you can break through to that ground of joy. There's no way that you can stabilize in your essence if you are avoiding the darkness, if you are avoiding that the winds of the self-destructive. So that really needs a full turning on the plate, a full facing what's there. It's kind of like facing your demons, you know? a full facing of what's actually destroying your joy in this moment. Because there is something there. And it's not a one-off kind of deal. It's a one-off until the next cycle of growth in introduces itself. And this is why the part of meeting the darker aspect of our feelings, that that's so important. Because if we don't do that, we are stopped in our tracks. We can't grow up, we can't grow in, and we can't grow out. There's no growth then. So in that moment, it's like, yes, our wish can be to step on the speeder, but at the same time, we're stepping on the brake, you know? Yeah. And I'm telling you that you're actually worth this. Worth enough to dissolve that fear of the self-destructive, the fear of the hatred. The thing is that you're afraid of falling into a black hole. You're afraid of presencing this because you're afraid that it's stronger than you. But I can tell you, it's a shadow. You simply have to presence it. Because the shadow was never real. The moment consciousness hits it, it disappears. So your, your consciousness, your awareness, light itself, is simply what's needed, along with compassion. Compassion towards yourself exactly when this pops up. Because the only other way is that it controls your life. And that's, you deserve more, you understand? And not because yeah. of something you did and not because of something you're going to do or anything like that, but simply because you are you. Every single being deserves to break out of those chains. Mm 